Welcome to Sports Extra. I'm your host, Ali Gohar. Tonight, we have a very special guest, former Pakistani cricketer Hassan Raza. We all remember him, those who were born, like me, in 1996 against uh, Zimbabwe. He was 14 years old at the time, and then he went on to play other matches for uh, Pakistan. He was involved in some very exciting and crucial games. So it will be a pleasure to talk to Mr. Hassan Raza about his career and, of course, his uh, academy, which he set up uh, four years ago. A lot of cricketers tend to do that after retirement, and of course, it's a very uh, noble and important thing to do. We've been joined in the studio by Mr. Hassan Raza. Hassan Raza Saab, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, Mom, Sam. How are you? I'm well. Great to have you. Thank you very much for being here. Now, Hassan Raza, like I said, we're going to get uh, to your career. We're going to talk about that. But before we do, just a brief overview about what uh, Mr. Hassan Raza has achieved on the cricket field. Let's listen in. Hassan Raza is a former Pakistani cricketer. He played as a right-handed batsman and a right-arm off-break bowler. After a good first-class season in 1996, scoring 217 runs from three matches and having an average of 43.4, a young teenage, Hassan Raza made his international debut against Zimbabwe at Faisalabad. At 14 years, 227 days, he was the youngest test debutant, well short of Mushtaq Mohammad's previous record of 15 years and 124 days. Raza's first eye-catching moment was in the Sahara Cup 1997 against India. India posted a target of 251 for Pakistan. Ijaz Ahmed and Inzamam scored big, but Raza made a vital contribution of 41. On the other hand, Raza continued to galvanize in first-class cricket. In 2001, Raza led the Pakistan A side to tour Sri Lanka A. He scored two centuries and averaged 64.2. A year later, he was called back into the test squad. He glorified the situation by scoring 54 not out and 68 against Australia at Sharjah. The year 2005 was a good year for the batsman Raza. He had a good outing in Zimbabwe. Raza scored 284 runs from two first-class matches. The same year, Australia A side toured Pakistan. Pakistan came into bat and in the matter of no time lost six wickets. It was then Raza who came as the saviour and struck 116. In 2005, Raza steered Pakistan A into the triangular tournament final by scoring an unbeaten 74. He followed it up by scoring 40 and Pakistan A won the final. The Karachi-born cricketer's biggest achievement came when he led the team to lift the Eurasia Cup in 2005. He scored an unbeaten 106 in the last concluded Faisal Bank T20. Raza was the second most run scorer for Karachi Zebras after Fakhar Zaman. His team reached the quarterfinals in that tournament. That was Hassan Raza's career. Once again, we're delighted to have him here to speak to him about it. Hassan uh, Raza, I get like I said, I remember, uh, I think of 1996, I was about eight or nine, playing against uh, Zimbabwe. I'd like to take you back all those years ago. You were very, very young. I mean, guys like Sayyid Anwar, Ijaz Ahmed, Salim Malik, Wasim Akram, all these greats of the game. And there you are, a teenager, playing international cricket, playing in a test match. Take me back to that time. Yeah, it's all, it was a really dream come true for me, and I played for 14 years. The youngest test player after 38 years, that record for Mustaq Mohammad. Mm -hmm. He played from uh, against West Indies uh, that time, so I played from like street cricket. Mm -hmm. So many players in Pakistan uh, playing from street cricket. So I gave him the chance from Lombard World Cup under 15 World Cup. I selected from the, that World Cup in London. So I read the paper one time. One of the organized tournament in London, so I've been doing myself, uh, doing extra skills to achieve that target from under 16, 15 level. Oh. So till morning, 6 o'clock, I'm doing so many practice myself in drill, individual practice and skills and so many catches. And that achievement is very important for me, like under 15 World Cup uh, is the first time in the history mm -hmm. in Lords. So I'll pick it up over there and got against India, 80 runs and Lords to be drawn. Uh, that's a dream from every people, uh, every kind of uh, kids who play from London cricket is a home ground dream from London. So that's why I played uh, very good cricket over there. Then Zayda Bas was a very inspiration for me. And he picked me up to the under-15 World Cup, then I'm selected under-19. Then came back to Pakistan, my debut in 1996. And Karachi Whites, I played against Karachi Blues. Took 196 uh, runs against Karachi Blues, first, first class match. Then I selected to Sahiwal side match against Zimbabwe and then still perform 100 runs and so many centuries. Mm -hmm. Then I just achieved that target from playing from Pakistan cricket team. 
Yeah. So I remember, yeah, 96, you're talking about the, uh, the, the World Cup in England, the under-15 World, World Cup. Yeah, so uh, some of us like, who, who are around will, will remember that. But then when you made your international debut, that must have been a very exciting feeling. Like I said, you were very, very young, but the competition was fierce. I just mentioned all those great cricketers that were there. There were guys like you, Shadab Kabir, who also made his debut yes. in 1996, and many other batsmen and bowlers for that matter. Yes. So yes. that must have really given, given you confidence that I can't, like, I have been selected to play for Pakistan at this stage, knowing that there's such tremendous competition. Of course, uh, yes, my uh, cousin Mumtaz Hadar is not hockey player, my, my family cousin. He worked me out hard, very wo hard working with the cricket skills in mm. Karachi and Pakistan. So uh, any kind of achievement you can achieve, you you have to be goal from yourself. Uh, that time is Saeed Anwar Bhai and Amir Sridhi was the opening batsman. There's uh, about 10, 12 years consecutive they have uh, participated with as the opening Pakistan great team. Legendary they guys. And number three, Ijaz Ahmed. Number four, in the Mamunak, there's so many batting orders. Right, Salim Malik. And Salim Malik. Uh, <laughs> and number six, so Moon Bay. Moon Khan is a middle order batsman, like as a wicketkeeper yeah. batsman. Then after Abdul Razak, Azhar Mahmood, even Shahid Afizi, uh, after that, he uh, don't have a given to chance to play from 11 members. So that's a competition. Uh, competition is very tough that time. So I'm getting young from that time, uh, 14 years. Uh, uh, people and selectors, they call me like, so he is very young and I study in A class in school. Mm. So I remember uh, I have a name with the Pakistan team in Faslabad. Uh, once I meet in Wasim Akram and uh, Vakar Bhai, they are all legend players. So I am surprising the whole night I never sleep that yeah. this is my dream to that legend place. To friend of me in the yeah. breakfast morning in yeah. Serena Hotel, Faslabad. Looking back, you were selected because you were tremendously gifted. There is no doubt about that. You were very talented. But looking back, do you think perhaps you might have been too young? Were you blood too early? Would you have liked a little more time in the domestic setup? Or you think that was the right time to play for Pakistan? Yeah, if you play from a good cricket and national cricket level, so you haven't so many runs, like a different domestic level. So obviously, this is uh, very important from selectors. Selectors given to me chance that time. Uh, rather than if you uh, wait till two hours, three, uh, three, uh, three uh, years, four years, then you lost from your career. So it might be that time is middle order is not complete because of complete of the Pakistan team, so many players that time. So this is a good target for me. So many runs uh, in domestic cricket, so given to me chance. I think that time for me is, God knows about the given to me chance from earlier. So that's consecutive double centuries and that I play mm -hmm. so many cricket in Pakistan. Uh, I'd like to talk about your international experience. I mean, there's an example there, you playing in the Sahara Cup in Sharjah, uh, in, uh, in Canada. Die-hard yeah. cricket lovers will yes. uh, remember that series. Pakistan won the first one, then I think India won the second. West Indies, we thought. Yeah, okay. West Indies and uh, yeah. the Bengal series. Yeah. Uh, West Indies, uh, uh, India and Pakistan. Yeah, Shabir, I think, fast bowler. Yeah, fast bowler. Shabir, I met Mohamed Akram, Pishar was at yeah. course, he was yeah, at that yeah. time. And Sakinai yeah. Mushtaq and then so many players. Can you believe Chris Gale was there? 1999? Yes, of course. Oh Chris my Gale. god, yeah, that's how... He did that time bowling, Augustine bowling. He, he never bat, he's a lounder. Yeah, yeah, he came, yeah, he came in the lower middle order. Lower middle the order. Wavell Hines, I think. Yeah, Wavell Hines. Uh, guys yeah. like that. I remember I played in Sahara Cup, so uh, this is my third one day in Sahara Cup. And Courtney Walsh uh, is the last one day match. Yeah, yeah. He faced front of me like bowling is very fast. And he laughing for me, uh, you are very young girl. <laughs> you play for lower, longer, more cricket than you can face me. How quick, like, facing a guy like Courtney Walsh, what was that like? I think Mervyn Dillon was there, but yeah, yeah it's Courtney had Walsh. Yeah, huge height, like our uh, recently bowler in Pakistan, cricket Farm, Amanda Farm, tall guy. Hmm. So because of that height is very important for the fast bowler. So these guys in uh, black diamonds in West mm -hmm. Indies, mm -hmm. Gordon Greenies, like Michael Holding, Marshall, the, all the fast mm -hmm. height and develop is very, 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 uh, very good bowlers. That yeah. time. So they ball from short of length. They don't ball for like uh, half volley balls. Even yeah. that time, wicket is very uh, fast, quick pitches, but mm -hmm. their ball is very quickly and playable for the batsman. I mean, you face some quality bowlers in your time, fast bowlers and spinners. Uh, looking back at, uh, at your career, your international career, who's the toughest bowler you face? International bowler. I played, obviously, uh, we played uh, 1997 Pakistan A team against uh, Dabi Shah, Worcester Shah, County Cricket. So I faced him, Shweb Akhtar. He was a batch mate. Mm -hmm. For that time, we played from domestic cricket. Nobody can face him in domestic cricket. <laughs> so uh, he 
not short, longer, is not short, short period in domestic cricket for Buster because he played 97 tour in England. He got uh, seven wickets in Worcestershire and Nottinghamshire. Mm -hmm. Jack Russell, he was a batsman that time. I remember. So the wicket keeper. Yeah, the wicket keeper. Jack yeah, he used to play for. Amazing Gloucestershire. Gloucestershire. Yeah. So we have a side match four day in Gloucestershire. Shrivastava took uh, seven wickets in very fast bowling that time. So Aga Zaid, former Test cricketer, mm -hmm. he was a coach for Pakistan A team. So he recommended him to use the fastest bowler. But when Shrivastava bowled us from the night practice and during the night, nobody can play him. Mm. He was a very really fast and. Yorker and out of the pitch, mm. you know, but short line. Just looking at international bowlers, again, you played against uh, England in 2005. They had guys like Hoggard, Steve. Yeah, uh, Bradley, Orsi, Bradley. Then, no, then uh, in, in Sharjah, where Australia decimated uh, mm. Pakistan, but you managed to make some runs, and people still remember that two half centuries, I think. Yeah, I guess two half centuries. 58 one inning and 78 runs. Do, talk to us about that experience, because as I said, die hard cricket lovers, yeah. they'll remember what Australia did to Pakistan in Sharjah was tremendously hot. Uh, Andy Bickle, Gillespie, uh, uh, Shane Warren, McGrath, McGrath, they, they blew Pakistan away. That, that's, uh, you know, the uh, lowest uh, test record in Pakistan is favor, 43 all out we got and we are follow on as well. Because Justin Langer was a good opener from our Australian batsman batting side. Steve Waugh last test match, he took 150 runs something. And that time uh, we have a uh, Mizbah Ulak, uh, Ms. Imran Farad, and we all play from upcoming. No, but, 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 w w w do you remember that game in particular? Because it's one thing losing, but then being bowled out like that, like for 40 and 50. I mean, what comes to my mind is obviously Australia were at the peak of their peak powers of then, but it was an inexperienced side. You had Imran Nazir opening the yeah, batting. Tofiq Umar uh, Tofiq Umar if I remember. Miss Paul Huck was very yeah. young at that Rassalik level. Self, Rassalik yeah, Paul. Russell Latif and Bukhar, you know, the senior and juniors combination. But uh, that uh, Australia, one of the peak is time in Australian cricket I've seen. The, the marvelous team that one. So they beat them any kind of team in the world, like South mm. Africa, like Pakistan. That period is very uh, strongly from Pakistan. Middle order batsmen is very collapsed at that time. Mm. But Australia, West Indies, South Africa, I remember uh, Nutini, there we went to the South Africa, Mukantini, he took every each inning against Pakistan five wickets. Mm -hmm. And short of land balls, they are target for the bowlers, bombsters always. So we are very strictly from Pakistan because we played from Asian cricket, lots of uh, uh, dry pitches in here in Pakistan. So, but. Once time, uh, the one of the guy from Javed Miyadad, he was a coach from Pakistan cricket. So he made the marble slip with the fast bowling period of time for mm -hmm. the batsmen. For how to learn the fast bowling and how to pick the ball from short of length. Yeah. Then they ran grown up for the Pakistan team. They are win like Mizbar being in National Academy. They practice from marbles. And mm -hmm. Baba Azam, they used to getting used to yeah. for the fastest bowling. They are doing lots of practice in the academies. Hmm. What about? I'm I'm just curious. So we, we talked about the competition uh, present around that time when uh, when when you were coming up. So guys like you, Shadab Kabir, some of the openers like Ali Nakvi, Naveed Qureshi, middle order batsman Akhtar Sarfaraz. Yeah. I mean, did you guys have a have a group sort of thing and talk about because you were top performers at the domestic yeah. level? Uh, did you talk about how difficult it was to get into the side and the challenges that you? Uh, that you had to face because there were a number of young, talented Pakistani batsmen, including yeah, yourself. So, what was it like, you know, being on the periphery all the time, not being able to get into the team? Uh, that is a uh, department cricket is very tough, like in Pakistan. Like Habib Bang HBL, I used to play for HBL as a captain for 13 years. And Shahid Afridi, Yunus Khan, their brand, their player from HBL. Uh, Akhtar Sarfaz, you remember uh, Salman Bhatt, the old players playing from National Bank, Kamal mm -hmm. and used to play for National Bank. These are departments from Pakistan mm -hmm. and 11 players, they are all must be played for domestic cricket. It's very tough cricket. So we reached we reach 1000 runs from the year. Mm -hmm. Like every season start, we have uh, 8 matches, 9 matches in first class. So we target from uh, one year, from domestic rating from 200 runs, one double century and 100 runs. At least we got uh, 1500, 1400 runs to achieve the target from domestic, then we are selected to the Pakistan A team. And now, concept is different these uh, years, like five, six years. Player pick up the uh, PSL, they are produced in PSL players. So many T20 cricketers here in Pakistan. Mm. So people, they are selected to the T20 format. And they cricket longer, not enough like in Pakistan, like in the world. T20 format everywhere in the world. And they selected 
selectors pick up to the players and PSL brought like two mm. uh, quick runs and quick shots. So that's why the stable and uh, longer innings is very difficult that time. Only Babar Azam we used to play from proper cricket from three format games in T20 test matches and especially one day matches. So that's a time period of domestic is very tough yeah. in Pakistan 90s and 90 to 2000. Well, after we're talking about the batsmen, even the bowlers. I mean, Mohammad Zahid, one of the quickest bowler, if not the quickest. Shahid yeah. Nazir, yeah. Kabir Khan. There was yeah. so much. There was so and much talent. They are in the season eight eight matches in first class, mm. almost ten matches in first class. They took 102 wickets, 105 mm. wickets uh, on the row. They took five wickets every match. On those pitches. On those pitches, yeah. like uh, uh, we, uh, we don't have a surface, and we don't have a surface like international level in domestic cricket. Yeah. So different uh, matches, different ground, different pitches, and like we play for Peshawar, then one day stay we play from Gujranwala, we play from Sragoda. Mm. So the department cricket is very tough that time, like you have seen in India. The very Ranji Trophy, Ranji Trophy uh, one of I remember that time. Uh, once we uh, starting playing from Karachi White, so winning team playing from Indian domestic winning team, they played Nisar Trophy, mm -hmm. and one they came to the national stadium team Nisar winning trophy from India, and the opening batsman never get out. The, the early two opening batsmen Ranji Trophy, one took 153 runs. And the second batsman took 170 runs, <laughs> like they're playing from uh, street cricket. So there's specific time. Domestic is very tough cricket yeah. from the any kind of youngest. Just players. a couple of more questions before we move on to your academy. Just a, a couple more. Uh, as I said, you were part of a memorable. You've been a part of some memorable games. One of them was 2005 yeah. uh, against England, which Pakistan won. They bowled out uh, uh, England. England had to chase 180, 190, mm -hmm. something yeah. like that in Multan. In Multan. You mentioned Shoaib Bakhtar, yeah. and at that time, Shoaib Bakhtar was also at his peak. Him and Danish Canario bowled England out. You have fond memories of oh, that. Yes, you feel I it slipped. Yeah, I've slipped. I took three catches. Yeah, uh, I've won short and cover. And so the Yunus Khan called me, I just bored myself and covered, came and come out for the 5-10 minutes from slip. <laughs> so I just came back to the slip yeah. and Tris could it, could it drive, I just took catch from first slip, second, yeah. and second one took catch from flint off. I took three catches. Yeah. That uh, spell, Shweb Akhtar was a very amazing. At that time we, because in Zaman Mulak was captain, he's... Bob Ulmer was the coach. Bob Ulmer was the coach and that time period of um, Pakistan cricket, the uh, massive of Everyone is gel together and mm -hmm. the fastest track like Rana Navi, the ball rowers swing. Yeah, yeah. That mm -hmm. time uh, and during the, the match, test match against uh, England, England, that is my memorable time. It's a very good match test what against Pakistan. the most memorable moment of your international career? Your favorite moment that you'll never forget? Uh, my favorite is lots. Uh -huh. I, I get in, as mentioned before the program, uh, 80 runs against uh, India, CAF, Rutin de Sudi, they mm -hmm. are playing in uh, that uh, that team. Mm. Uh, we have a team in Bajit Khan, Kaman Akman, Shweb Malik, Tafiq Umar is a big team. Mm. And then I took 80 runs. Uh, then I uh, got him out, 15 hours left yeah. from batting side. Then I came to the dressing room lots. One of the guys asked me to, why you should get uh, runs, 100 runs. I said, I don't know, just forget it. So he mentioned me, uh, if somebody played from lost cricket ground, who gave in 100 runs mm. in first time in career, mm. who took 5 wickets. So they have a big, huge library in the uh, last cricket ground. It was great so chatting to you yeah. about uh, everything you've achieved on the cricket field. It was a great fun. But like I said, we're going to talk about your cricket academy. We have to do that. Uh, before I talk to uh, Hassan Raza about it in detail, our PTV World production team has prepared a report on Hassan Raza's cricket academy in Islamabad. Let's listen in. After representing his country as a player in various tournaments, Former Test cricketer Hassan Raza is also working for the future of cricket in Pakistan. Hassan Raza is currently running a cricket academy in Islamabad. Hassan Raza Cricket Academy aims to ensure that talent can get recognition and be worked upon to groom the youth when it comes to cricket. Hassan Raza believes that in order to ensure a better future for Pakistan cricket, we must work on the young talent and help them explore their capabilities through academies. In the past, Hassan Raza Cricket Academy has also organized a cricket hunt talent program in Pakistan in which they were able to explore a lot of young talent across the city. Hassan Raza Academy has also organized various cricket tournaments including a Ramazan T10 tournament. Hassan Raza Saab, now about your academy, that was a brief overview, but your words, I'd like to hear uh, from you personally, you tell us about your academy and why you decided to start one. The academy it was very good, every kind of people who mm -hmm. play from street cricket, the academy, especially the Pacific time, 
good uh, career for the youngsters player who play from grassroots level mm. so we don't have a pakistan grassroots level so just i mentioned uh, naval and cricket academy the uh, lots of cooperate uh, for me myself and for my ground staff uh, zishan bustan is involved with my academy he's uh, very energetic he just work hard with the my ground and zishan ahmed is some of the guy in management they give me a uh, from sport club over there like table tennis that is squash golf so there's huge sport club over there so that's the problem from pakistan we have a grassroots level is very uh, not as strongly like in the australia and like uh, melbourne like huge academies over there and south africa as well so i mentioned myself in pakistan produce the players we have a 35 40 players in academy uh, like i play for 14 years so that guy play from 40 years as well because they given to right mention right goals achievement like rahman shah one of the guy youngster who played in 19 in pindi region and so many players like amar khan and like mubashir like lehan nehal mansoor first class player recently but they don't have a ground in pakistan so that is the academy from play from for these youngsters from these generation who played from 16 and 16 and 17 they played from grassroots level then become they are played from pakistan national team and one of the things like uh, they are all sponsors uh, triple a associates they forward uh, they all colonel kiani they all they are supporting for me over there in cricket mm-hmm. in academy and further uh, in psl cricket and marketing you know, they are all because involved with the cricket so that's the future in pakistan younger players from the cricket so yeah, i mean you're not you're, you're not the first uh, former cricketer to start an academy and it's a very n- noble cause and, and it makes sense because i mean you, you know the game inside out and you want to obviously you want to give back and see young cricketers going on and doing well at the international level and we saw a, a, a picture of Javed Miyadad there one of, one of your heroes so it must have been nice to have him around yeah. and it must make you feel good to see giving young cricketers a platform because sometimes that is an issue yeah. so giving them a platform to uh, harness their skills become better cricketers it must make you f- feel very happy very right? happy because so many uh, uh, so many people they playing from history cricket so legendary Javed Miyadad thanks very much for him Uh, he teach for the boys over there in academy uh, some single doubles very specially job in that cut shots and there was the people were very surprising in naval increase to get academy and some of the job in that legendary player zahir abbas there's so many legendary player hanif mohammed uh, he's guy but he's a very longer player in 500 in yeah. remember and <laughs> and <laughs> he never get him out himself that that kind of a player that kind of motivation with the youngsters in pakistani people here and so many players so this is a promotion with the pakistan cricket so i am here with the cricket academy and so many academies in pakistan uh, giving to chance to play from young talent uh, play from good cricket and good mention from under 15 world cup and 19 world cup they produce a nation from the pakistan uh, what what's the fu- what is the future hold for your academy we've already discussed uh, what's been going on there uh, so far do you have obviously you have more tournaments planned getting in more, more youngsters to get involved ptv sports is also in yeah, tell us a bit about that yeah last time uh, triple a associates they organized triple a associates under 23 tournaments last 6 months ago mm-hmm. uh, they organized the naval increase cricket academy good tournament uh, they are investors in builders construction they are promote for the cricket because we have a financial problem any kind of sports in pakistan like table tennis like hockey uh, we need to be sponsored with the people who front of us giving to chance from the people accommodation traveling only pcb they are run out for the people they look after the people who select from the pakistan otherwise uh, nobody mention from the players nobody support from the players younger that that's a program from uh, uh, forward uh, uh, sheikh they are organized from triple a cricket tournament under 19 in naval increase and they boost up the youngsters they give to chance we have a six inter unit ptv tournament championship the peshawar win the tournament that tournament against lahore naval increase so uh, further in the lineup is we have so many under 19 matches so many in the 23 under 23 tournaments organized uh, coming the month because of life last 4 or 5 months uh, anywhere no no cricket in the world why covid 19 that the huge problem problems in the world like england series is starting 5 uh, yeah. starting test match so thanks god from the pakistan cricket playing from england over there mm-hmm. otherwise 4 or 5 months people didn't play for any kind of a sports yeah uh, what about we discussed the talent that was present when you started playing cricket what about now talk to us about the level of talent in uh, in pakistan do you 
was it was it what it used to be is there the same kind of talent or not as much they have a they have a talent but they don't have a talent like from four day cricket and task cricket they don't love, like in pakistan cricket younger player they playing from only focus from psl i will just mention from the uh, just analyst with the some of the tv uh, with jaid me azad so i yeah. mention only t20 format they playing like hyderabad upcoming batsman getting runs in psl peshawar zami used to play yeah. but once cricket is they don't have a mind from only focus from the t20 you have a four day cricket as well you have 50 overs game as well technical like baba azam you group the innings from playing longer inning to so these kind of youngsters they playing only short format cricket and they chances to give in able to play from only psl you know like so imran khan the prime minister he says that you can if you're a good test cricketer yeah. you can still be a good t20 cricketer exactly. but if you're a good t20 cricketer you can't necessarily become a good test cricketer exactly. but ek hi david warner hai yeah <laughs> david warner only david warner <laughs> or uh, only they want to like uh, bend down as well bend down yeah, yeah like to show like a lot of remember yeah so that's a talent like uh, i'm telling about the boys they play from longer inning like 100 and 20 runs like you can see uh, misbah who like middle order once time uh, we can beat them from england home series in dubai so icc ranking number first from pakistan cricket team because of uh, misbah who like uh, groom up the players together with the youth and senior junior combination of the team then they beat them england home series over there and australia beat them in dubai hmm. sport city because of they took jun khan took 200 runs you know khan last of century is mohammad yusuf legend player he played from stay to the crease and long running developed with the players hmm. that's the motivation like uh, azwar ali he played these youngsters playing from t20 they are achieve only psl target and not more than cricket like psl you can see like gram simit he used to play in a 19 with us and i remember 1990 One year he played in a 19, then he selected with the Pakistan, uh, selected with the South African team. Mm. Now he played 100 in two Test matches. He is retired. Yeah. Because basic cricket, you need to be basic cricket. You play for longer cricket as much you can. You just stay. And not only that, he captained his country. He was yeah. The captain of South Africa. And Master League, I played in Dubai Master League. He was the captain for Virgo Kings my side. Mm-hmm. And Ovesh Shah, they played in a 19 cricket together. Liam McKenzie and they all played. Jonty Rhodes, even he is a fielding coach over there. So he's surprising with me. Uh, why you are playing from Master League? You become a youngest test player you played, and now you are playing from Master League all time. And that's what happened in grassroots level. Is we need to be stronger in Pakistan cricket. Who so played uh, good cricket and good platform like Australia, like New Zealand? They have a huge academy. We have a uh, so much talent in Pakistan, but we need to be support from the people like sponsorship coming out of the ground. They are members. They are coming to support the people. some guys they don't have a shoes from the ground they don't want to be play like good cricket level mm-hmm. and cricket gears sports gear any kind of gear is very expensive these are moments so uh, prime minister especially used to play from cricket so i reckon he think about the domestic cricket mm-hmm. the six province regions uh, this year in first class cricket and so many players from playing from pakistan cricket 500 players in department once they are playing first class cricket the last year they playing from 180 players all of the uh, in 22 crores in pakistan people this out of the bag they all players sitting mm-hmm. over the area they don't have a chance from the 19 players so uh, that's the problem from the batsman cricket is stop in pakistan no. so need to be promote the cricket promote the sports from upcoming talent from the pakistan and i'm sure you tell young players in your academy that yes t20 there is t20 cricket and uh, it is uh, the future and the present yeah. that can't be neglected but it's very important to focus on Uh, the longer format as well because that's what develops your skills and yeah. develops your base yeah. as i said before if you're a yeah. good test cricketer you can be a good you can see miss bowler miss bowler can't yeah. yeah everybody people said wow he's a stop bowler he's like the biggest sixer i've ever seen he's the biggest sixer in the matches where well. he never get out in the matches where he plays for uh, so many pakistani a to us with us and still he doing practice in the national academy nca you know is how do he love to play i remember the 2007 the first t20 world cup inaugural yeah. world cup him and shoaib malik were batting against australia they made a good they, it was a match winning partnership do you remember nathan bracken yeah, the left arm bowler he came bowler. him for one of the biggest sixes it was the biggest six of the world cup Course, yeah. But that, I mean, the way he hit that six, and I'll never forget it. It went way out of the ground. The four arm is very strong. Is a shot of land ball is very strong. You all the time hit the mid on and mid off. That's a shot from any kind of batsman. Mm-hmm. You hit it straight like Abdul Razak when he smashed the shot. 
straight away from the screen. I, I still I still maintain, of course, everybody knows uh, Shahid Afridi, wonderfully talented cricketer, but Abdul Razak, finest striker of Fine the ball out uh, yeah. of Pakistan, yeah, I feel. I remember he used to play in a 19 with us in MTN Nandu World Cup. Abdul Razak also played in South Africa. Mm. He, he remarkable, he got 110 runs and smashed huge sixes in the yeah. Durban ground. Yeah, so See, that's the this is what we're talking about, right? There's so many players to to look look up to. Pakistan has such a rich history. So my final question is this: we're, we're about to wrap up the show. That considering that Pakistan have achieved so much in cricket, and the fact that there's still talent, as you uh, as you already stated, if the right sort of investment is given to these academies, grooming young players, the right kind of investment and of course uh, first class cricket, domestic cricket. How far can Pakistan go? We're already a very talented cricketing side and we do win, we do win tournaments, there's no doubt about that. Yeah. But everybody argues the consistency isn't there because yeah. the grassroots level is still weak. But if we improve that, how far can Pakistan go? Final thought. That's why, that's why because of the triple years, they build those construction there, driving program, the old businessmen come out to the ground and they give into support for the young generation and give into uh, good support from the like any, any kind of tournaments because Pakistan did not only have uh, 30 players scored with the who played from the Pakistan team otherwise you bottom up you see in the place there's so many players uh, and talented players they don't have a cricket gears they have a we need to be sponsorship come out to the ground come out to the people and talk about discussion about the people Islamabad cricket region or Pindi cricket region and they give into support for the people, for the players from Pakistan, like uh, Indian Raji Trophy, like you guys said, uh, Australian academies. We don't have our academies here. There, we, Shadda Free, myself, mm -hmm. and any kind of player in Pakistan, never come out to the academies. They're playing from the street cricket in the uh, cities. So that's the program, a huge program for myself. Uh, I'll give it to good support from the people who region Islamabad and Pindi regions are living here in Islamabad. I nev uh, ev everything I support to the cricket here, my experience with uh, them and I need to be discussed with the people who are investors they came out from the sports section and then try to getting more and more uh, sponsorship with the cricket, with the mm -hmm. tennis, with the basketball, any kind of a sport uh, must be professionally as a player, they need to be eating, they need to be training, they mm -hmm. need to be uh, professional things like mm -hmm. Australia, like England yeah. so th if uh, they have improved, they have good money, they have a good contract Obviously, you have a good result. Otherwise, no can get. Uh, <laughs> you can't get far. You can't get far. Right. Nice. Mr. Hassan Raza, it was a pleasure having you on. Pleasure. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. That's all we have time for. Keep watching Sports Extra on PTV World. See you next time. Bye bye.